Shalom, 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 family. This your boy, Yael. Tell you the other day, I was on TikTok. I got on two Christian live um, platforms and got booted off of both of them. Muted, silenced, kicked out on both of them. Now, one was very respectful. One was very respectful. Even though we disagreed with one another, we had we had a respectful dialogue. The other one, as soon as I answered his question, he made a statement. And when I challenged him on his statement, he booted me off instantly. At least the other one tolerated me. I guess I could say, say the least he tolerated me because I was challenging him. He was making statements that were not true. And then I asked him a question that I asked that the other one said. Now, the other one that booted me off instantly, he said only Jesus can keep all 613 commandments. So he opened the door for my next response. I said, did that mean even the laws that only are for women? Like what to do if you're on your monthly cycle? What you have to do when you give birth to a child, be it or a male or a female? I said, did Jesus keep those as well? He got mad and booted me off. The next platform I get on, I asked a question. Did Jesus keep all 613 commandments? He said, yes, he was the only one that could. No one else could. He opened the door. I said, did that include also the ones that are solely for women? He said, I was being disgenuine and kicked me out people stop saying things about the Torah when you don't know what it is you don't know what it says you just repeat talking points and I know you're repeating talking points because I was a Christian myself and said the exact same thing only Jesus kept all the law because you know what Christians say Christians believe that God gave Israel commandments that they couldn't keep and he knew they couldn't keep it, but he still punished them anyway for not keeping it. You know that you, you are painting such a wicked picture of God. You're showing that God is unfair. He's not just, and he's cruel. And then I asked him before he got, uh, I asked him, I got one comment through, but he didn't ever respond. Matter of fact, he did respond. I said, can you show me? Now, listen to what I asked. I said, can you show me in the Tanakh, the Old Testament, the Torah? Where did God tell the Israelites that I am going to give you a Torah that I know you cannot keep? And when you fail to keep it, I will punish you. You know what his response was? He told me what Paul said. I said, my question was simple. I said, show me where God say to the Israelites, I'm giving you a Torah that you cannot keep. He said, well, God spoke through Moses. I said, so you telling me God was contradicting himself through, um, I meant Paul. He said that um, God spoke through Paul, the apostle Paul. And I said, are you telling me that? God contradicted himself through the apostle, through the apostle Paul. He got mad and then he booted me. I'm telling you, some of you Christians are comical and you make me laugh. Some of the things that come out of your mouth regarding Israelites is shocking, laughable, slanderous, and you don't care because some of you don't know slander is a sin. Lie is a sin. You're lying on people just to uphold what you believe about your God. 
when I say your God, I'm talking about your God, Jesus, because your God is not my God. I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I serve the God of the Tanakh, the God that spoke. Your God and my God is two different gods altogether. So, on that note, I'm going to close this video out. But yesterday was very enlightening and very entertaining, to say the least. Don't ask for open dialogue if you can't handle it. You can ask me about what I believe. I'm going to answer it. And if I can't answer it, guess what? I'll let you know I can't answer that question. I don't know. I need to look into it. But it, it amazed me how you Christians always got to an answer. And you obviously don't know what the scripture is saying. You obviously don't know. But I love when you, you go to your ace of spades. You go to your joker wild. And I call it a great cop out. You say, the Holy Ghost told me. Whenever you can't find a scripture to support your view, you say the Holy Ghost gave it to you. But why is your Holy Ghost contradict the scripture? And I can show you what you said you got from the Holy Ghost. I can show you by scripture. And when I say scripture, I'm speaking of where um, God speaks. That's the Old Testament. And you contradict what is written by what you say the Holy Ghost gave you. Why do you think we're going to believe you? Why do you think we're going to accept Christianity? Why do you think we're going to accept that the one you deem the Christ is the Christ. No Israelite is going to turn from their God to embrace a no God. And that's just the bottom line. This is your boy, Yael. Peace.